Welcome to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1, Week 7, brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll be looking at key signatures and scales, defining the key signatures, also the scale. Let's begin our Week 7 theory. Keys. Music is played or sang in keys. We have various keys that give tonal centers of a music piece and guides us to a point of resolution. In pre-grade 1, we are going to focus on C major, G major and F major. Key signatures. Key signatures are accidentals placed at the beginning of a staff or musical piece to determine the tonal of the pitches or notes. They are placed directly after the clef sign and just before the time signatures. These are accidentals. Key signatures are accidentals placed where? At the beginning of a staff or a stave or musical piece. What do they do? They help us to determine the tonal, the tonal of pitches or notes. So this is an example of a key signature. It's placed at the beginning just after the clef. We use key signatures to identify our keys. Key signatures affect all pitches until a new key signature is introduced. They affect all notes until a new key signature is introduced. We are able to identify the key of a piece by looking at the key signature number one or analyze the accidentals two or check the starting note or the starting chord or the ending notes or chord. This is how you place your clef. It's the first sign, then followed by the key signature, then lastly your time signature. A piece may be with or without key signature at the beginning of the stave depending on the question. Without key signature means accidentals must be placed means accidentals must be placed in front of the notes that require to be raised or lowered scales a scale is a series of notes played in an ascending or descending up and down stepwise pattern series of notes played in an ascending or descending stepwise pattern Stepwise means line, space, line, space, climbing up the ladder. Major scales. In music, we have many scales, but in this chapter, we will only be focusing on the major scale. Let's take a look at the characteristics of a major scale. A major scale is made out of eight notes, counting from the root, which is the, your tonic or your starting note, that's the first degree up to an octave of the same note up to an octave of the same note a major scale has two semitones the first semitone is located between the third and the fourth degree and the second semitone between the seventh and eighth degree let's see that on the stave so this is our G major this is one two three four this is the first semitone between the third and the fourth degree it's located the fourth third and the fourth degree and the second one is between the seventh and the eighth degree between the seventh and eighth degree it's the first one second one we use a slayer or bracket to mark our semitones we may use a slayer like this like i've just done 
or a bracket to mark a bracket to mark our semitones to mark our semitones let's just fix this one oops there we go the rest of the intervals are whole tones we write scales in a staircase pattern like we have mentioned that our scales are in a ladder staircase pattern spreading out notes from one octave to the next leave spaces in between notes the below example shows how to write a scale without key signature therefore a sharp is placed before the F note to raise it a semitone higher as you can see this is the staircase pattern going up going up going up going up in a staircase pattern this is our F this is our F now this has been raised by a sharp we placed a sharp just before the F note because we do not have any key signatures here so now this F needs to be raised raised by a semitone raised by a semitone this is the F sharp now so this note was F but it became an F sharp because we raised it by a semitone